Okay hey guys, so I'm in friggin' Nashville, right? So about to do the video, and these people are not used to me vlogging like in LA. But check this place out, right? So what I like about this place is that they've got like a CrossFit room connected to a gym. So over there, way over there is the normal gym, and over here is the CrossFit area. Sort of, CrossFit-ish. And I really wish they had this in LA. Cause you know what? I get really bored with my workouts. So this place is pretty dope. And I've been, if you look at here, see, for you CrossFit people, you're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But for me, this is like new in the sense of, I'm gonna get a full workout where I'm gonna do my normal workout, which is with, you know, slinging weights, which gets really boring. But then I could go to the, oh no, it's all yours. I could go to the middle area and do my handstand crap and all that stuff. So I just wanted to do a really quick video because I'm sure the people here are freaking out on um, what it's like to diversify your workouts because if you don't diversify your workouts, then you plateau. And that's the problem with a lot of you guys. You're bored with your method of working out and I keep finding really dope ways. So again, this gym is pretty dope. This is this back area. I wish they would just build this section onto my, um, to my gym. So if I want to do stuff like that, all those things, or they've got the um, dip bars in the back, which I think I'm going to do, the little yellow ones over here, they're pretty cool. Let's check this out. This is what I think I want to get at home. These are the suckers, right? I'm going to go mess around with these for a little bit because these are really cool. You know, we just, that's all you need is simple stuff like that. And some pull-up bars. And to do some muscle-ups and stuff like that. Okay guys, so I'm in Nashville and I'm talking about how to diversify your workouts because nobody ever does. Well, some people do. And they kind of get stuck in one genre. So I really like one day going to skate park and skating. Or now I'm learning how to do Wing Chun um, so that's become my new workout. So I'm going from martial arts to skateboarding to this crossfit shit, I mean stuff, uh, to dancing, <laughs> uh, dancing around like a maniac, um, to whatever. And that's the reason why I have fun working out. Now, I've done videos where people are like, oh, you know, again, people are whining about my workouts. And people say, well, like, you know, I've got family and kids. You design your life. Nobody tells you how to design your life. This is the life, and that's the business that I wanted. So that's the business that I got. That's the issue with people. They don't learn how to redesign. You can't blame your life on anybody else. I wanted this life. I love people. I love everything about biology and physiology. I love everything about science. And I love everything about how to preserve the telomeres in your DNA. I love everything to do about epigenetics and how to, you know, kind of help your detoxification pathways. I love all that kind of stuff. It's freaking dope. So if you guys want to learn more about ketosis in general or um, how to diversify your workouts, because that's a series that has to happen, right? I've been so caught up in the science that sometimes I forget to... Uh, I mean, I just love this place. People are like, what the hell is this? Uh, what the hell is she doing? Um, I love this area. Okay. You know, ropes and pull-up bars, and they got the rings over there, and those dip bars, which I'm about to get slaughter those suckers right now. But um, if you guys want to learn more about how to just, sometimes just redesigning your thinking. You can't make excuses for your body. And for those people trying to keto adapt, to plateau, I am telling you, no matter how many people I coach, we get to the level that you either have SIBO, or you've got histamine intolerance, or you've got thyroid issues, or you got adrenal, you don't sleep well, or you just need to change your freaking attitude. So if you want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com or Stephanie the Business Person on my Facebook fan page or Stephanie Ketogenic to freaking learn more. And I'm in freaking Nashville, and I'm about to freaking hit it. I mean, really? That's how I roll, right? <laughs> That's how I roll. Peace out.